Hi, I'm Coach Cheyenne. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'll tell you the five things you need to bring with you to a pitch and putt. Obviously golf clubs, a bag, we'll go into detail about the different kinds of bags you can take, more than two golf balls, a divot tool, and a water bottle. Stay tuned, watch the full video for bonus items at the end. So the beauty of a pitch and putt is that, number one, there's no dress code. So I'm just wearing a regular t-shirt and some biker shorts, but making sure as always we have pockets, pockets, pockets in whatever pant or short or skirt that we're wearing in golf. So I have little pockets on the side. Now let's talk about the bags. I have two different kinds of bags. If you have this fun little, what we call a Sunday bag, then great, this is your option, great first option. If you don't, which many of you won't, you can just take a regular backpack, stick your golf clubs in here, and we'll tell you which ones to pick, right in here, zip it up, and then whatever else I tell you can go in your backpack, and then you are good to go to the pigeon putt. So number one is a bag, that's what you need. Number two, golf clubs. Now, how do I pick my golf club? You don't want more than three clubs at a pitch and putt. Number one, always being your putter. And then, if you are a brand new golfer and never played golf before, I would recommend taking two more clubs with you. If it's 100 yards or more, in the scorecard, which you will Google advance, make sure you take your seven iron with you as most of you probably can't get to 100 yards without your seven iron so that would be my first club i would tell you to take besides your putter the second club that i want you to take is something with a loft okay a lot of you don't know what that means and if you don't at the end of this video make sure you watch my video on the 14 clubs in your bag and what they actually mean so a lofted club a sand wedge a lob wedge a pitching wedge um if you're if you're new to golf you won't understand what that means but if it's a p or an s put that in your bag you should have your seven iron and a putter if you're brand new to golf if you know how to play golf just look at the scorecard see what the yardage is and take two clubs accordingly so what i did was i took my putter my pitching wedge, which goes 100 yards, and I took my sandwich. So I took three clubs with me. If you're an advanced golfer, what I would suggest is, which I did, on the front nine, only use one of your wedges. So I only used my pitching wedge because I wanted to practice with it if it was long or short, and of course my putter. On my back nine, I only used my sandwich. That just gives you more practice while you're out there and making it a little bit more competitive with yourself. So we have the bag, we have the clubs. You need at least two golf balls because I know everyone thinks pitch and putt's really easy, but you might just lose a ball in a tree. So at least two golf balls. If you're new to golf, take four. And then we have the divot tool. Let me grab one for you. You do need to carry a divot tool with you, even though it's a pitch and putt. And if you don't know how to fix a divot, at the end of this video, I show you on another video on how to fix divots. It's very, very important. We must follow etiquette because golf, that is the biggest thing that golfers want you to do, which is pace of play, which means keep up with the group in front of you and fixing our divots, our ball marks. So this is a divot tool. Please make sure you have one with you. That's one of the items, so that's four items and your fifth item is some form of liquid i suggest a water bottle that you have with you it's really hot and 18 holes at a pitch and putt can take you about two hours just because there's a lot of new golfers out there so be kind be patient you're out there to have a good time don't stress out of the people in front of you are taking a little bit longer than expected that's what a pitch and putt is for so those are your five must-have items a few bonus items let's get started I'm always telling you to protect your skin so I have sunglasses I took those I took a hat with me I applied sunscreen beforehand and I also put it in my backpack 
and a glove if you have a glove by all means take it I used it sometimes and sometimes I didn't use it but it's never too bad to just have it in your backpack and then also if you're new to golf the pigeon putt I went to had hitting mats on it so I didn't need a tee but if yours doesn't and if you're new to golf highly recommend carrying a few tees with you in your backpack so protect your skin a glove to make it easy and golf tees. Those would be a few bonus items. And I always carry a snack, a granola bar or a fruit, just so it makes you last the two hours so you don't become hangry, because sometimes I can. I hope that helps. If your pitch and putt has some dress code rules that I'm unaware of, because I don't know any pitch and putts that have dress code rules, leave them in the comment below. And if there's any item that I'm missing that you take in your pitch and putt, let me know in the comments below as well. If you already haven't, make sure you click the subscribe button. And if this video helped you, click the like button. I'll see you guys next time.